you when you're not. I actually really enjoy being your boss. Um, we're starting tonight with the uh, Peace Through Media Award. <clears throat> and I'm really happy. Can you hear me? Yes. I'm really happy that actually we have with us uh, two previous winners. Jihad al Khazan from Al Hayat and David Gardner from Al Hayat. And, <laughs> and I will be from the Financial Times, I'm sorry. And I'll be presenting uh, tonight's first piece through Media Awards. There are three of them. I'm very pleased um, to. Um, I can. Okay, I know everything about that person, but right now I have a blank, so I'm going to start again. <laughs> Our first recipient always wanted to be a journalist. She was born and lived through war-torn Lebanon, and as still at university, she started working for um, the Daily Star and the Nahar. However, she soon joined Reuters, and it became her... <coughs> Career. She's been with them now for over 20 years. She started in Beirut. She even became the head of the West Beirut Bureau of Reuters. And after covering the Lebanese Civil War, she covered the Gulf War. She, however, joined and she moved to Cairo for a few years from 92 to 96. And um, she was noted for her reporting of the Jama al-Islamiyya state within a state problem in Mbaba, and that didn't endear her to the authorities, which means that she was doing a great job. She also covered the Oslo Peace Awards and returned with Arafat in 94 to Gaza. And in 98 was noted for, having, for breaking the news on uh, Kofi Annan's um, 11th hour deal between Saddam Hussein for stopping the war with the United States, at least in 98. She was head of uh, the Levant Bureau and the Gulf Bureau, both in Beirut and in Dubai between 2002 and 2006. And unfortunately, um, our winner was in Baghdad during the war and was uh, badly injured. However, she did not stop doing what she loves. She's an extremely courageous person. She has set up incredible bureaus with extremely strong teams in every place that she has started. And what can I say? She's an incredible professional. She's a courageous person. And tonight, she's our first winner. The facts are the most important thing, that I stick to the facts. I grill the correspondent on the feed when they give me something to make sure that the facts are right. You know, have you seen this person? Have you talked to this person? How many people? So, because this is the, the way I arm myself against anybody. If somebody comes and question my objectivity or my, I say, these are the facts. These are what we have. This is the witnesses we have. This is the evidence we have. So, no, nobody can. Well, I'm very honored and delightfully surprised to be recognized with this prize, which makes me think of all the people who are not with us, uh, who should be recognized at the same time. I think of all the people we lost during the 2003, uh, my colleague, cameraman, who died while filming the US troops entering Baghdad, Taras Potchuk, Tari Ayyub that day, and many others, uh, Jose Cousseau. And, uh, you know, to, to this I say, you know, uh, we in Reuters, we lost seven people in Iraq uh, since 2003 and one in Gaza. And I dedicate this prize to all of those with Reuters, you know, who work for Reuters and outside Reuters. And they are the true heroes. And I dedicate this prize for them and we'll never forget them. Thank you very much. And thank you.